Welcome to 30 Second Chances, where we ask industry insiders deep, inquisitive questions and give them far too little time to formulate thoughtful, reflective answers. My guest today is Chris Hallaby, CEO of KVR. Chris, how you doing? Good, thank you. Good. Okay, you know the drill, 30 seconds on the clock, and then on to the next question. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, question number one. How has the shutdown impacted your life? Uh, it hasn't, well, let's see. From a uh, just professional point of view, I've worked at home for quite a while, so it hasn't been that huge a change, certainly compared to some of the people I know. From a personal point of view, it's been kind of nice because uh, I get with my family and my kids are in different places, so I get with them on Zoom quite often, and uh, it's a different kind of dynamic because uh, there's you know no competition, everybody sort of waits their turn, and it's, it's, it's been kind of nice that way. Question number two. What do you think recovery is going to look like for the audio industry? Oh, boy, that's interesting. I think a, a lot of collaboration platforms, I think, are going to do pretty well. Um, people will find it easier just to, uh, to work with somebody that might be in a totally different place uh, on the globe. So I think those are pretty good things. I, bricks and mortar, it's going to be a little harder. Uh, I'm sure the retailers, the e-tailers out there are doing extremely well. Um, from the economic point of view, I just don't know. I'm not an expert. Question number three, what are you working on now? Uh, well, we've built up our store. I'm working on an interview with uh, Christoph Kemper, uh, who is the maker of both the Access Synths and the Kemper uh, Profiler, which is a very interesting uh, guitar profiling um, device. And uh, just uh, hanging in there, doing more music, learning the gear that I have better than uh, I would have if I was more distracted. Well, that leads to a good segue to the next question. With the with the recent surge of from home live streams, what's been to you the most surprising thing you've noticed about how artists are adapting? Oh boy. Um, well, I mean, I know it's tough uh, uh, for artists because they kind of got hurt uh, when the whole Napster music is free came along and they had to rely more on their live performances and now they can't even do that. So I think it's tough for all artists, whether they're local people playing in clubs or whether they're major artists on tour. Uh, Joe Satriani, for example, had to cancel his entire European tour. And that is tough. <laughs> Next question. If you had a late night talk show, who would be your first guest? Oh, wow. Um, who would be my first guest? Late night talk show, wow. Um, they have to be music or they have to be, uh, any anyone living or dead or living or dead. Yes. Oh, oh boy. Let me think about that. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> cool. I'd watch that. I would choose Jimi Hendrix, uh, cause I'd be very curious what he'd be doing now. I would agree. Okay. Next question. If you could have one weird superpower, what would it be? Flying. I would love to fly, but I'd want to be at the top of the food chain. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, flying would be cool, but you'd have to watch out for a lot of bigger things flying in your way, no? Yeah, not only that, but you don't really have hands. <laughs> no opposable <laughs> thumbs. <laughs> so, it's like you're just like this all the time. But the ability to look at the world from above. And, and, uh, and then the question is, would you have to flap your arms or what, you know? They seem to be able to do it pretty easily. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to put 30 seconds more on the clock, and I'm going to ask you to answer for me any question you wish I had asked you. Oh, boy. Um, do the ums get put in here? <laughs> Absolutely. It, was that the question? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what question would you ask? Um, Don't worry, this, thro this one throws everyone. <laughs> Yeah, well, it wouldn't be. I'd like to know uh, what's going to happen in November 3rd. I'd like to think that we're going to be in a better place uh, than we are currently. Uh, but that's not a question for me. <laughs> yeah, but it's a good question, and it's one that's on everybody's minds these days, most certainly. Well, that concludes our little game. Thank you so much for being our guest today. 
Okay, you promised not to make me look like an idiot, right? <laughs>